What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome to The Coma, a 3D platformer that takes place in the subconscious of someone's mind while they are in a coma. And uh, I gotta say, the screenshots that I saw looked pretty beautiful, but I don't know much else about this game. It is three bucks on Steam. And I just wanted to come in here, check the game out, see what it was all about, and see what these uh, developers have to offer. So let's go. Okay. I'm assuming angels and demons, given the halos and whatnot. Man, am I just a kid? Am I just a kid in a coma? Fuck, dude. That's sad as shit. Alright, well... I guess let's go explore time. This is really beautiful, though. Jeez. You know that feeling when you look down off of something that's really high? That tightness in your chest, and, like fluttering in your gut? I am definitely feeling that right now. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Can I run? <gasps> I can jump, but I don't think I can sprint. Something over here? Nope, just death. Okay, let's get moving. Sweet jumping and whatnot. Wow. Alrighty. If I die in there, does that mean, like, the kid in the coma dies? Shit, okay. Guess that raises the stakes a little bit. that effect. Whoa. Okay. I'm assuming those hurt. areas are all supposed to represent something. I mean, first thing that comes to mind here is like the cold logic centers of the brain with all the synapses and their electrical signals. But I don't know if I'm looking too deep into that. You know me. I love overanalyzing stuff. <laughs>
Ooh, doggie. That is a rough looking section right here. <laughs> Okay, so those green platforms fall away. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Shit. Oh, okay. Back into it then. Jesus, where are we going? Going left? Oh, oh boo. Alright, let's go. Where's that one? Okay, okay, okay. Are we just... Okay, elevator. Sweet. Whoa! Alright. Where to now, subconscious? What have ye for me? Oh. Well, isn't this just dandy? Whoa! Hi! Fuck. I'm assuming I just... Follow the lights! I don't see any lights now. Oh, there's light. Hello, my friend. Come here. Lights. Why? Why you go out? Come. Okay. Oh, fuck. I didn't know this was a horror game. Jeez. What? Oh, okay. So I'm guessing this is like the f fear of my subconscious. We got away from logic, and now we're in straight up the amygdala. Just hang out in the fear center of the brain. Jeez. A bird? I'm just walking towards lights, hoping that they're leading me in the correct direction. Oh, Jesus. Awesome. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, let me out of here. 
Whoa. Whoa. That was pretty cool. Okay, I think I am going to do a full playthrough of this. Um, just to see what else it has to offer. But I think my initial impression of this is that it's a game. I don't want to come across as too like assholey here. This is just like what I got out of it. It's a game that lacked any game designers. It has some really impressive visual artists on here, but in terms of gameplay, it's running and jumping, which is not inherently bad, but you start out with the idea of a platformer, and one of the biggest things with platformers is that um, they rely a lot on your accuracy and movement, and not being able to see your feet well in terms of the trade-off between looking where you're going and looking where you are, there are very, very few, I can't even think of any examples, platformers that have been improved by a first-person perspective. Um, so some of the gameplay aspects seem as if they're just kind of placeholders for this to be a game rather than a uh, like a visual design showcase in that darker section there were apparently some rules in terms of the gameplay that hadn't been established yet and uh, you know kind of caught me by surprise and as a player it was frustrating dealing with that because there was no establishment of these mechanics that um, these ghost figures I don't even know if it was them that was killing me so quickly. I don't know if it was just the darkness or if it was um, those figures coming up from behind me that I didn't get a glimpse, get a glimpse of. Um, so yeah, the the visuals in this are fantastic. The um, the atmosphere, the kind of surrealist vibe that's going on is really impressive, but it is very lacking on the gameplay side. Um, the atmosphere is fantastic. I really, really like this simple, quiet music. I think it does a lot to, to add to the feel of this whole area. Um, you know, there are definitely some really talented visual artists working on this. This stuff is beautiful. Even if some of it's, you know, a little bit low poly, the, the textures are beautiful, the lighting is beautiful, it's made in Unreal Engine, so you can expect the lighting to be really, really nice. It just, it almost feels like, oh Jesus, that light just went out. Um, I'll just go back to the main menu. But yeah, it, it feels like a visual design showcase that somebody plopped into the um, like Unreal Engine 4 editor basic third person starter kit um, and I don't mean to come down on the game very hard but it's uh, that's just that's my overall first impressions and yeah not bad not a terrible game but it is Dealing with one of the biggest issues in platformers and not really doing anything special with it. And that's the first person perspective in a precise platformer. It's just, I, I can't think of any examples where it's worked well. And I think trying to build a game on a broken foundation is difficult to do. Your artwork is gorgeous. It really is, um, but I don't think the experience is improved by it being a first-person 3D platformer. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.